oil rig lifters, research facility transporters, and supermassive cruise liners. Stay tuned as we take a look at 15 of the most amazing heavy lift ships. Number 15, Sunrise. All right, let's kick off our list with something big, really big. The Sunrise is a powerful heavy lift ship built in China in 2012, and now sails the Marshall Islands flag behind her. But Sunrise was made to haul around some of the biggest equipment in the oceans, like no one else can. She's typically done jobs for construction companies, bringing massive pieces of equipment across the seas, but she's even managed to carry a passenger ship as well. And she's got the girth to do it too, because the Sunrise heavy lift ship is over 550 feet long and another 130 feet wide. How she transports her giant cargo is pretty cool too. Like many other aquatic vessels of her kind, Sunrise is a semi-submersible, so when she needs to pick up her cargo, her body dips down below the surface to accommodate whatever she's about to carry. And she can carry a lot too. She has a cargo capacity of over 24,000 tons. And despite her size and strength, she can move pretty quickly through the oceans with her engines that are kicking out over 12,000 horsepower, so she can move up to 13 knots. Sunrise is undoubtedly a shining star amongst her peers that won't be burning out anytime soon. Number 14. Yacht Express All aboard the Yacht Express, another heavy lift ship built in China, the awesome Yacht Express was built in 2007 and does have one of the coolest names of any ship. It sounds like she's going to take you on the tour of a lifetime, ferrying you from one super yacht to the next, but instead her big job is making transatlantic trips shipping yachts and their employees. She's one of the most exclusive of her kind, and if she's hauling yachts around, then she'd better look good too. And look good the Yacht Express does, with a nice silver color, ensuring she'll be the silver lining in any situation. And although the Yacht Express was built in China, she sails for the Netherlands and is the largest yacht carrier of her kind. She measures in at 685 feet long and has a width of 105 feet. But just how many yachts is she going to carry at a time? Well, she has a cargo capacity of 12,500 tons. So don't be surprised when you catch her hauling around anywhere from 10 to 15 yachts at a time. The Yacht Express cuts through the water quickly as well for something of her size, jutting around at 18 knots. Number 13. Forte Heavy Lift Ship when it comes to shipbuilding, China must really know what they're doing because we have yet another Chinese-built heavy lift ship on our list. Officially hailing from the beautiful archipelago of Malta, the Forte heavy lift ship has been carrying massive cargo loads since 2012. So she's young, but she serves an interesting purpose as well. This heavy lift ship is mostly used to aid in the installation of offshore wind turbine foundations and oil and gas structures. So she's like the unsung hero of the energy industry. If wind turbines or oil rigs need a new part, she's the ship for the job. And seeing as how she's got a carrying capacity of 48,000 tons, it's obvious that this heavy lift is the ship that you call. She's got four big engines that crank out over 18,000 horsepower and help her move at a speed of 14 knots. She may not be the fastest heavy lift ship out on the water, but she certainly isn't the slowest. But what makes her really cool is her dynamic positioning system that will autonomously manage the Forte heavy lift's positioning and heading. This is one ship that knows how to think for itself. And when you're over 700 feet long and 142 feet wide, you can't afford any miscalculations. Number 12. Shang Yung Ko Finally, a heavy lift ship made by China for China. Constructed in 2011, the Shang Yung Ko is an incredible semi-submersible vessel created for some serious loading and unloading operations at sea. And when she's getting ready to pick up her cargo with most of her body underwater, the ship looks just like a few gray towers popping their heads above the water. But when she comes back up for air, she can carry up to 48,000 tons. And it is a pretty cool vessel, measuring over 700 feet long and 140 feet wide, and she'll usually carry smaller ships along her body. But don't be surprised if you catch her hauling around huge oil platform structures as well. She really can do it all, and no job is too big for the Shang Yong Ko. And since she's carrying around so much stuff back there, the Shang Yong Ko is moving at a more modest pace than some of her fellow heavy lifters. She's got four hefty engines doling out just under 21,000 horsepower to reach a top speed of just 13 knots. But that's also the perfect place to show off all of your glory to the rest of the vessels out in the sea. Number 11. White Marlin Marlins are amazing fish that can grow up to be about 11 feet in length and reach up to 400 pounds, so it would make sense that any heavy lift vessel named for one is going to rock. 
enter the White Marlin. This heavy lift ship is over 700 feet long and just over 200 feet across, with a gross tonnage of 51,000 tons and a carrying capacity well over 72,000 tons. So needless to say, she's pretty hefty. Built in 2015 by China and now sailing at 14 knots under the Maltese flag, the White Marlin is another semi-submersible vessel and made her maiden voyage from Singapore to Abu Dhabi carrying two massive drilling rigs. The White Marlin is the youngest vessel we've seen yet, and it's part of the new generation of heavy transport vessels, all owned and operated under Boscalis, the Dutch company that specializes in international supply. But despite her name, the White Marlin has a nice bright red paint job, making her nearly impossible to miss out there. Number 10. Seven Borealis Okay, we can't let the giant semi-submersibles have all the fun. Every now and then, you need to get the big guns out and bring in some heavy machinery out into the ocean. So that's where things like crane ships come in. The Seven Borealis was built by the Semboang Shipyard in Singapore in 2012 and flies the flag of the Bahamas in the wind. Not quite the biggest ship we've seen so far, with a hull length of just under 600 feet, and it's the perfect heavy vessel for laying pipe. So if you see another heavy lift vessel carrying the parts of an oil rig through the ocean, chances are the Seven Borealis isn't too far behind. She's got a deadweight tonnage of about 47,000 tons and a cargo capacity of 5,000, so she's not messing around. The Seven Borealis can typically be found ferrying precious cargo around the English Channel and requires a full crew of 400 on board to keep her up and running at all times. Number 9. The Blue Marlin Another aptly named heavy lift ship, the Blue Marlin is one of the largest ever kind in the world. Another vessel owned by Dutch Boscalis, the Blue Marlin is an absolute beast, with a cargo capacity of 75,000 tons that has transported things like cargo ships, oil rigs, and even aircraft carriers. One of her more famous pieces of precious cargo is the USS Cole, a destroyer ship that was attacked in Yemen in the year 2000. And after that job, she was given a big upgrade in 2003, when they gave her a larger carrying capacity and another two retractable propulsors for extra mobility. In the strange world of heavy lift vessels, the Blue Marlin is practically a celebrity. She's even been featured on television twice after moving an oil platform and another gas refinery from Spain to Norway in just 11 days. And the Blue Marlin is physically just as big as her reputation, measuring in at 712 feet long and 138 feet wide, and with a deck area of nearly 120,000 square feet. Her deck alone is the size of two soccer pitches. But unlike some of the previous entries on our list, the Blue Marlin only needs to accommodate up to 55 crew members at a time, and she's strong too, with her engines cranking out an impressive 17,000 horsepower. The Blue Marlin has ship enthusiasts around the globe feeling anything but blue. Number 8. Hawk Heavy Lift We're seeing a good handful of heavy lift vessels named after some strong marine life, but this one is named after one of the biggest predators in the sky, the Hawk. The Hawk Heavy Lift goes back a bit, having been built in Croatia in 1989 for the Norwegian fleet. She's big enough to accommodate her large platform that typically carries the giant parts for offshore facilities, sometimes even the facilities themselves. But just how big is it? Well, the Hawk Heavy Lift is a whopping 740 feet long, with a width of 155 feet across. And with a cargo capacity of 64,000 tons, she's the perfect heavy lift vessel to haul around things like entire drilling platforms and wind turbines. She really is carrying some of the largest cargo in the world, and it looks like one tilt to the left and it's falling to the bottom of the ocean. But thanks to her incredibly high capacity ballast system, that's never going to happen. With some great engines that kick out over 18,000 horsepower, she's traveling through the seas with a heavy load at a top speed of 14 knots. This is one hawk that is not to be trifled with. Number 7. GPO Amethyst Everybody loves jewels, and this next entry on our list is the crown jewel of Taiwan heavy lift shipbuilders. Built in 2018, the GPO Amethyst is a baby compared to some of the other heavy lifters we've seen so far. But don't let her young age fool you, because she shines as bright as the gem of her namesake. The GPO Amethyst is one of the most advanced ships of her kind and currently sails under the flag of the Marshall Islands and is one of four sister ships that all specialize in transporting heavy machinery like drilling rigs, cranes, dredging equipment, and other cargo, like fellow seafaring vessels. And this is a big one, reaching a length of about 740 feet long and 158 feet wide. 
At that size, you can bet she's got a great carrying capacity, being able to hold 63,000 tons at a time, all while hitting a top speed of 13 knots with her 31,000 horsepower engines. And the best part of the GPO Amethyst? She only requires a crew of 26. She's so advanced that there may come a time when the GPO Amethyst won't need anyone but herself. Number 6. Zenhua 29 if you haven't already guessed it, the heavy lift vessel known as the Zenhua 29 was built in China before sailing under the Hong Kong flag as it currently does. But this is an old one. In fact, Zenhua 29 is the oldest vessel that we've seen so far today. This big semi-submersible ship was built in 1987 to carry both floating and non-floating cargo around the world's oceans. And she can carry a lot of cargo too. With a length of over 800 feet and a width of 140 feet across, she's the biggest ship we've seen so far today. In her heyday, Zenhua 29 was carrying things like oil platforms, modules, and gantry cranes to be loaded and unloaded from ship to port. She came in when everyone was a little too small. So just how much is a ship like this able to carry? Well, you're looking at a max capacity of well over 51,000 tons. And unlike some of the younger heavy lift ships, the Zenhua 29 just has one engine, cranking out a total horsepower of 13,000 and traveling at a top speed of 14 knots. Not too bad for an old geezer. Number 5. Xinguanghua Another amazing heavy lift ship working for Hong Kong is the Xinguanghua. She's been sailing the seas ever since the year 2016, and she's absolutely massive. The ship is nearly 800 feet long and 115 feet wide, and has some serious carrying capacity of just under 100,000 tons. Yeah, and if you've been keeping score, you'll know that this is the largest cargo capacity we've seen yet. The semi-submersible is handling jobs like the transportation of drilling rigs, construction equipment, entire offshore buildings, and even the dry transport of other ships. Xinguanghua is so big that she can carry vessels up to 800 feet long and over 100 feet wide. This amazing heavy lift ship employs a diesel and electric power system, and two engines combined with an output of 28,000 horsepower, letting her move through the ocean at just over 13 knots. Number 4. Mighty Servant 1 With a name like Mighty Servant 1, you can count on this semi-submersible heavy lift ship to do just about anything. She's been doing it for a long time, too. Mighty Servant 1 sailed under the Dutch flag and was built way back in 1983 and has been carrying some of the largest offshore platforms since then. We're talking about bringing big-time oil rigs and floating dry docks all across the ocean. When she was first built, Mighty Servant 1 was just 130 feet wide, but in 1999, they changed the design of it and cranked that number up to 160 feet to help her better lift a production rig just off the Brazilian coast. But some of her more famous hauls have been naval aircraft, including the USS Tonkawa, Eufaula, and the USS Guardian, which was a mine countermeasure ship. So needless to say, the Mighty Servant 1 is one of the most important and celebrated heavy lift ships out on the water. Number 3. Pioneering Spirit Now we're reaching the final stretch and things are about to get really heavy. Formerly known as the Peter Schelte, the pioneering spirit first set sail at the beginning of 2013, and it's owned by the Switzerland-based Alsees Group. But the pioneering spirit is a different type of heavy lift ship. She's a catamaran crane vessel, meaning she's outfitted with multiple special purpose cranes capable of lifting up to 5,000 tons each. She's been mostly designed for the single lift installation and removal of large oil and gas platforms, as well as the installation of incredibly heavy pipelines. So to get all of these big jobs done, the pioneering spirit has to be absolutely huge. She's got a length of 1,200 feet and is over 400 feet wide. She's been the largest vessel in the world by gross tonnage, 403,000 tons, and as of 2021 is the largest vessel of her kind. It's not bad for a ship that can carry up to 75,000 tons. Number 2. SSCV Sleepnir Named after Odin's eight-legged horse in North mythology, the SSCV Sleipnir is a massive semi-submersible crane vessel operating under Harima Marine Contractors. The vessel has two revolving cranes, each with a respective carrying capacity of 10,000 tons. So naturally, when they're working in tandem, the two cranes can lift a 20,000-ton object up and onto the vessel. The Sleipnir is relatively young, having only been built in 2019, but the moment it hit the ocean, it became the largest of its kind for the time being. 
but sleep near made waves again because during its maiden voyage it completed the largest bunkering operation on record, having lifted and transferred 3,000 tons of liquefied gas off the coast of Sumatra. And in that same year, she completed a record lift of 15,300 tons when she moved the top sides of the Leviathan Energy Project. She's a young vessel with many more years in front of her, so who knows what other records are waiting to be broken by the sleep near. Number 1. Dockwise Vanguard One of the most impressive heavy lift ships in the world, hands down, is the Dockwise Vanguard. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries, this vessel has been the coveted property of the Dutch company Dockwise since 2013 and has the honor of being the largest heavy lift ship in the world. So then how big is it, you may ask? The Dockwise Vanguard is over 900 feet in length and 260 feet wide. We told you it's the biggest in the world. And she's got a cargo capacity of 117,000 tons. So you can bet she's hauling around precious cargo like Chevron's Melo platform, one of the largest in the world, and Malaysia's Armada Intrepid all around the globe. There is yet to be a job that's too big for the Vanguard. But it may soon lose its title as the largest vessel in the world, because the folks in Vanguard have proposed to build another heavy lift ship even bigger than this one. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.